Good morning. This is Data Explorers and I am Jessica Johnson. International fund industry bodies, including the UK's Investment Management Association, the IMA, have called on regulators to develop a practical and sensible regime for regulating short selling in order to boost investor confidence and prevent market manipulation. The bodies include Australia's Investment and Financial Services Association, the IFSA, and the US Trade Group, the Investment Company Institute, the ICI, who have both said that disclosure should be kept between funds and the chief market regulator. The body said that any disclosure system must ensure the confidentiality of information about short-selling positions. The IMA, the IFSA and ICI all reiterated their view that short-selling is a legitimate investment activity that is an integral part of global capital markets. Stocks in the US dropped yesterday off the back of uh, poor results on uh, jobs. Aloka, which was down 10.2%, announced it will cut 15,000 jobs. And Intel, uh, which was down 6.1%, said it is cutting its revenue outlook and that it expects to see a 23% decline in fourth quarter sales. Our data shows that Intel has a relatively low utilisation, but this figure has roughly doubled from November from 2 to 4%. The percentage of Intel shares outstanding on loan is just above 1%, down from 1.7% in August. The company's share price has dropped from $24 to $15 between August and now, rising up from $12 in mid-December. Bloomberg have reported that Macquarie Group had announced exceptionally challenging markets that will dent pro- profitability as, as it jettisons assets to weather the global credit crunch. The percentage of shares outstanding on loan has dropped roughly 14% in October to just above 12%. This is considerably higher than Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley, who have shares outstanding on loan of 3%. Finally, Lenovo has also announced a profit warning. Shares were down as much as 18% in Hong Kong trading on Wednesday, and the percentage of shares outstanding on loan has dropped by half since October from 4 to 2%. And this has been in line with share price movements. It could be possible that this, this figure will now start to increase over the coming days and weeks. Many thanks. Have a great day.